hopefully you are doing well. I am so glad to do another circle about nature episode two. If you remember in the first episode, we sang songs about seashells and about pine cones and about rocks and pebbles and also about the four seasons. Today also we are going to sing together, read a book and learn an activity. The first song is about the weather. The weather song I learned it from Kibomers. So let's look outside the window and see what's the weather like today. What's the weather? What's the weather? What's the weather like today? All together, all together. What's the weather like today? Ooh, what's that sound? Look at the trees. Can you hear? Look, it's windy. Look, it's windy. Look, it's windy, everyone. Fly a kite. Fly a kite. Fly a kite everyone what's the weather what's the weather what's the weather like today all together all together what's the weather like today Ooh, what's that sound we are going to get wet so i need my umbrella look it's rainy look it's rainy look it's rainy everyone Jump it the puddles, jump it the puddles, jump it the puddles, everyone. What's the weather? What's the weather? What's the weather, everyone? All together, all together, what's the weather like today? Oh, now it's sunny. Look at the sun. Look it sunny, look it sunny, look it sunny, everyone. Let's go swimming, let's go swimming, let's go swimming, everyone. Oh, it's very cold now. And what's coming from the sky? Look it snowy, look it snowy, look it snowy, everyone. Catch a snowflake, catch a snowflake, catch a snowflake on your tongue. What's the weather? What's the weather? What's the weather, everyone? All together, all together, what's the weather like today? Great job. <laughs> okay, now let's look what I have in the basket. I have leaves in my basket all green leaves because now it's spring season so all the leaves are green now let's count how many leaves i have in the basket one two three four five six seven eight nine ten ten leaves in my basket ten green leaves in my basket let's sing about the leaves one little two little three little leaves four little five little six little leaves seven little eight little nine little leaves ten little leaves up on that tree and we are going backward ten little nine little eight little leaves seven little six little five little leaves four little three little two little leaves one little leaf left on my tree Great. Did you know in the fall season, leaves are falling down from some trees and they turn into different colors, red, orange, yellow. And some of the trees, they stay always green, even in the winter. I learned a nice song from Earth Learning. 
How many leaves do you see? How many leaves do you see? How many leaves in the tree? Let's all count them one, two, three. How many leaves do you see? One, two, three. I see one leaf in the tree. I see two leaves in the tree. I see three leaves in the tree. Let's all count them one, two, three. What colors do you see? What color leaves do you see? What color leaves are in the tree? Let's all count them one, two, three. What color leaves do you see? Red, orange, and yellow. I see a red leaf in the tree. I see an orange leaf in the tree. I see a yellow leaf in the tree. Red, orange, yellow. One, two, three. The leaves are falling down. How many leaves are falling down? How many leaves are on the ground? Let's all count them. One, two, three. How many leaves do you see? Red, orange, yellow. I see a red leaf on the ground. I see an orange leaf on the ground. I see a yellow leaf on the ground. Red, orange, yellow on the ground. Leaves are falling down. Let's learn a little bit about the bees. Did you know the bees love the flowers? Here is a beehive, but where are all the bees? They are hidden inside where nobody can see. The bees are coming out of the, the hive. One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> Did you know that bees have very good vision? to help them find the flowers and the flower colors that particularly attract bees are blue, purple, white, violet, and yellow. So that's why let's learn how to plant rainbow flowers by reading this book. Planting a Rainbow by Louis Ellert. Every year, mom and I plant rainbow. In the fall, we buy some bulbs and plant them in the ground. You can see orange, tulip, red tulip, orange tulip, yellow, blue, and purple bulbs. We order seeds from catalogs and wait all winter long. So morning glory, zinna, ester, cornflower, marigold, daisy, seeds. For spring to warm the soil and sprout the bulbs. Then it's time to go to the garden center to select some seedlings. We sow the seeds and set out the plants in soil. And watch the rainbow grow and grow and grow. We have some red flowers and orange flowers and some yellow blooms. We grow something green and some blue flowers and some purple flowers too. All summer long we pick them and bring them home. And when summer is over we know we can grow our rainbow 
again next year. The end. So now since we talked about the bees, uh, let's learn how to create a bee from the rock. So uh, when you go outside with your parents, you can collect some uh, rocks, uh, medium size, and, uh, like this size approximately. And uh, uh, you make sure that the parents cleaned it and washed it, uh, let it dry. So first uh, thing, what we need for this activity, we need uh, white glue, we need googly eyes, we need scissors, we need pipe cleaners, pipe cleaners, and we need felt, black felt, and that's all, and the rock, of course. So first of all, you can paint the uh, rock with yellow color and uh, let it dry, let dry the paint. And then after that, you can uh, take the uh, felt and glue it on the rock to make the stripes. And then you can put the googly eyes in the front and with the marker, you can draw the mouse. And also then you can put the pipe cleaner as uh, feelers or antennae, they call it. And then you create your uh, bee from the rock. Also, you can create or make uh, a ladybug from the rock by painting it uh, red or uh, yellow also, and then cut the felt uh, circles and glue them on the rock. Also, you can put the pipe cleaners as the fillers and the googly eyes, and then you can create ladybug uh, from the rock. You can create whatever you like from the rocks. Uh, there are so many activities uh, can, you can do from rocks, such as writing alphabets on the rocks, and then uh, let your child uh, create uh, his or her name. Uh, also write numbers and learn uh, numbers. Uh, also you can paint the rocks with markers. Um, you can uh, make a pet rock or also you can uh, bring big and the small rocks and then let the child uh, sort, sort these rocks. I hope everyone enjoyed the circle, the fun with nature circle for today. Uh, please, if you can, send us your feedback. Uh, we would love to learn um, about how we did the circle, how was the circle, or if you create the activity uh, by sending us an email to early on uh, email. You can find it in the end of this circle. And uh, have a great day. Bye, everyone.